welcome to my youtube channel if you're new yet hi my name is cc and welcome to a new video in today's video i'm going to be doing an empties haul so basically beauty products i've used up and um, both skincare and makeup products i am going to be roasting them so how it's going to go is since i've used up these products i'm going to tell you my final thoughts like my final review on using these products i'm also going to be telling you if i'm going to recommend it and what category of people are recommending them for and overall if i'm going to be repurchasing it in the near future and so yeah without further ado let's get into the video so i have this big box here this is a mega great gift box and it's actually just filled with all of my beauty products and teas right now and we're going to be taking them one after the other i'm going to start with skincare first and then we're going to go into makeup products so we're going to be starting with skincare, like I said, and the very first one I'm going to be talking about today is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Sunscreen in Bond Spectrum SPF 50. Now this is what it looks like. And I already have a full-on review first impressions on this particular sunscreen. So if you want to know my thoughts, if you want to know whether I think this is the best sunscreen for women of color, what I think this is the best sunscreen for that skin. If you want to know whether it has white cast or not, all of that details is in the video. So you want to check that video out. I'm going to drop a link in my description box. And that is if you want to know in depth what I think about this product. So thoughts on this sunscreen. Do we like her? We love her. Okay, we love her here. We stand her. Um, would I recommend this sunscreen? 9 out of 10, I would recommend this sunscreen because she did what she was supposed to do, at least for me. Would I be repurchasing this sunscreen? Funny story, I already did. Now, the big question is, would I be repurchasing after this second tube is done? And the truth is, I don't think so because I really want to explore more sunscreen options because I work on this channel to find amazing products for you guys and if i keep on holding on to the ones i feel like are so great i won't be able to try a new one so but minus that and i'm using sunscreen the next product we're going to be talking about is the aztec secret indian healing clay and guys this is what it looks like this product was very popular on instagram for the most it didn't absolutely finish because it's a lot i think i used this for close to a year and refused to finish there's still like product left in it all up to like here but then the product has expired. Speaking of expired, please, please check your beauty product. Every beauty product has an expiry date, even if they do not write it on the container. On the side of the product, you're going to see how long you're supposed to use the product once you've opened it. So you always see like a, a, a thing with a lid that is half open. So that tells you 12, you will see 12 or 24. And that tells you whether you're going to be using the products all up to 12 months or 24 months respectively after opening the product. But this one actually has an expiry and it expired in January. And I, kept, I really kept it for this video. I just feel like it was overhyped. Like, it's that product I run to when I feel I want a total cleanse. And I would mix this with two parts water and one part apple cider vinegar please don't mix this straight up with apple cider vinegar without diluting it with water i feel like it's just too concentrated at that point so it contains calcium bentonite clay which is known to detoxify i don't really want to use the word detoxify but that's what calcium bentonite clay has theoretically been known to do but i'm not so big on clay marks anymore i mean <laughs> Just seem like so much work mixing it up, trying to get the right consistency. Overall, it's a good product, but I would not be repurchasing. Not because it's terrible, but because I am not just big on clay max anymore. Like if I want all of that treatment, I'll go to a spa. The next product is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Facial Toner, and this is what it looks like. So without going too far, my thoughts on this toner: I'm one of the people that aggressively used to use the Witch Hazel Toner. Right now, I honestly feel like you do not need a toner every day. Like, you do not need that much of a stripping ingredient on your face. So, I would use this very, very sparingly even now. 
i would still be repurchasing this but actually i have been using a second bottle this one is the one that comes in the mist form so this is the facial mist basically the same content but in a mist form now i would still use it but not as aggressively as i used to use it when i was just starting out with skincare it is an amazing toner if you might not the fact that it actually has fragrance so your skin is very sensitive to products that have fragrance and you want to stay away from this I would say when I recommend this product, not because of anything, but because of the fragrance in it. The next product on our list is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus Heche. Heche is Hyaluronic Acid. I love how the same does absolutely great with their yeah, packaging. Very simple, very, ah, oh, so beautiful. What Heche does is it traps moisture from the atmosphere on your skin and it just, it's just beautiful when you apply it. You get 100 mils of product and I feel like that's just amazing. I didn't even finish using the product, it expired too. So when you get it, you're getting your money's worth. I would 10 out of 10 with my full chest. Okay, I don't have full chest, but you get the drift. I would 10 out of 10 recommend this product for anybody that is just suffering from dehydrated skin or you want to add more surface hydration to your skincare routine. So this I recommend as against getting a separate HA serum because honestly, I don't like when I have like a 10 step routine. It's just so hard to follow. It's just so hard to keep up with it. So this is a very good way of adding hyaluronic acid to your routine. You get it in the moisturizer and you just use it when you get to your moisturizer step. In the near future, I'll be purchasing this product when I'm done trying out a new moisturizer. So right here, I have like some travel size image skincare products this is their ageless total facial cleanser this one is their total repair cream this one is their anti-aging serum and this is their total resurfacing mat overall i'm not big on any of them first of all i don't subscribe to physical exfoliation anymore i mean like why <laughs> so even when i pack this in my travel bag i do not use the resurfacing mat but I would 100% stand the total anti-aging serum and I would love to have this like in the big pack so I'm purchasing just this out of everything here however this max this is the biomolecular hydrating recovery max so this max contains glycerin and niacinamide as the fourth ingredient I'm just remembering and oh my god it's such a beautiful experience so i kept this just so that i would be able to get the exact same one whenever i'll be privileged to work into their physical store here in nigeria the next max here is this one from mini so this is their pink panther max so i'm a max holder i will keep my max till like the very last minute if i have to i kept this max and when i applied it, it was very basic it didn't give me the experience i was expecting that it was supposed to give so I would absolutely not be repurchasing. And that's all for skincare. The next we're going to be going into makeup products that I've used up. And first up is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. This is what it looks like. I am in the shade 355. So this is the one that I've used up. And this is its replacement. I also got the foundation in a shade lighter than my skin tone. For this one, I want to do underpainting because this is absolutely beautiful. I would recommend for anybody who is just starting out with trying out foundations and you want something that is full coverage but does not feel heavy. It feels very lightweight even though it's full coverage. The next makeup product is the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Foundation. I have used up two of these already. The thing is, when we think Mary Kay, we think our mother's generation. But honestly, guys, Mary Kay still nails it with foundation. The only problem is you just have to find stores here in Nigeria that sell the original Mary Kay. It is medium coverage and I would 10 out of 10 to this day recommend this foundation for someone who doesn't like to wear so much makeup, who wants your skin to still feel very breathable. This foundation I would recommend. The next is the Mary Kay Foundation Primer. The only problem I have with this is it's so hard to find. I've barely seen anybody that still stocks this primer. 
but she's beautiful primary if i find where i can get it i will definitely be repurchasing and i will stop her because i feel like they do no longer produce it anymore if i find anybody that has it i'm going to buy as many as possible and just keep because she's really beautiful the next makeup product we'll be roasting is the rcma no color setting powder you want a setting powder that is translucent and will sit this is the one for you okay this powder is so beautiful the finish is so natural i already repurchased and they changed the packaging so this is what the new bottle looks like this is absolutely beautiful and i have repurchased but this is the old one it's almost done you guys can see how much is left but i had to repurchase before i run out of this it is so beautiful i would 10 11 12 out of 10 recommend this product for anybody beginner if you have oily skin if you have dry skin it doesn't look patchy it does what it's supposed to do ah and the packaging simple minimalistic She's giving what she's supposed to give. The next thing we're going to be reviewing is the Evita Joseph Expert Brow Liner. This is what it looks like. Oh my god, this is the only eyebrow pencil I have in my kit. So I have two in Perfect Chocolate. I have two in Rich Espresso and this one is in Chestnut Brown. And I use this as a lip liner. So guys, the only pencil I have in my kit. And that's because on a normal day, I'll always reach out for brow gel when I want to do my brows. But on days when I'm in the mood, when I want to use a pencil, when I'm feeling like I need a pencil on my brows, this is the only pencil in my kit and this is what I reach out for. So these are all the ones I've used up. And I have like two more in my kit and one more that is on open. So 10 out of 10. They knew what they were doing when they made these pencils. They are so beautiful. Next on our list is the classic lash glue i love the fact that it's very affordable i think it's less than a thousand naira. and when i tell you that this lash glue will hold your destiny it will hold your destiny together i would 10 out of 10 recommend because it is affordable you can use it and your lashes will stay put all day until you physically use your hands or my cellar water to take them out they will stay put all day um, I would recommend this for anybody beginner, anybody who really wants a lash glue that does what she's supposed to do. And it's really affordable, so why not? Why not? And yeah, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's any product you feel like I didn't give my thoughts as much as you would have loved me to, let me know in the comment section. I'll be continuing this conversation in the comment section. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye, gorgeous. <laughs>